Now I'm using my uh, TSG-17 on the DSO-5072P. And it's my RF signal generator that I use for uh, antique radios. And I have it set on 3 megahertz in, in and around. The dial's pretty accurate, but you know, to, to a couple of kilohertz here and there, you never know. And I've just set up my modulation level and, and frequency. And what I'm going to do is what, well, what I was attempting to do was adjusting myself to a digital scope. I found some challenges and, and the trigger's a little different than I'm used to. And I don't believe you can really actually see, you can see what you're triggering on the old scope, but there, there's a different method to use. So the first thing that I came up with in setting this up, and, and if, if you were to hit auto set, this is, this is what you'd be looking at right out of the box. And obviously, we're going to have to adjust that to actually see the um, the envelope. So I keep turning it up till I get something that resembles a um, an envelope. And there you go. And that's pretty good. And the first thing I did is I, I decided to, to pull the trigger out all the way to the bottom of the waveform. That, that way it only triggers every time it sees the uh, pulse of the of the modulated waveform. So as I come down and start to leave this middle area, you'll notice that it's going to start to clear up. And, and the trigger settles down. So I, I need to have something to trigger off of. But I just have found a good way to measure it is to just, just clip the waveform and, and still stay within the triggering capability. Right, so I, I got that working nicely. But then what I noticed is, you know, the resolution is finite, and you really can't see the, the, the granularity of the waveform. It does look pretty cool on the screen as well as in the camera. But what I found was that if I hit the display button, I could change from vectors over to dots. And when you change it over to dots, you really get a, a, a whole different story. And this, <laughs> this is really cool. So I could, I could adjust the frequency, and you'll see... That, that the dots, you get to a point where, where, where it's just, it's just not, not going to cut it. But you definitely get a nice, uh, prettier waveform if, if, if that's what you're going for. And then I check my trigger level again, and I'm still, see, I don't want to leave that boundary. Because if I leave that boundary, then I'm not triggering at all. I just want to, just want to come up right there and have something to grab onto. And my triggering right now is set for edge triggering. And I imagine I could set it on pulse and see what happens. But it's not going to get the, the desired effect I'm looking for from triggering right off the right off the end of the waveform. So I'll bring that back to edge. And there we go. There's a nice modulated waveform. And I'm going to adjust while I got to set up the modulation frequency. And we can see the modulation frequency change, just like that. Right, and now I can also set the, the modulation level. Unfortunately, as I set the level, I'm leaving my, my triggering area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the set the trigger to 50. And that's going to disrupt the waveform slightly, but disrupt the triggering anyway. But there we go, and I could almost take take out the modulation right there and then, and then bring it back in and bring it to desired area and come back down with my my trigger something really cool too um i don't know what good purpose this would serve for me but if i go to the display menu i could actually manually engage a persistency of how long the dots stay on the screen so that's infinite and you can, you can see it build up, and eventually it just turns into a mess of dots, and you just get the outline. But if I kick it down to, like, 0.2, then you get you get a little more depth in, in what you're trying to look at visually. And 0.4 I found already to be a bit high. It's a little too much. It kind of works. But 0.2 is, is where it's at when I'm looking at something like that. So there it is. There is a modulated AM signal at um, what is it? Three megahertz displayed on the Handtech 
5072P. Thanks for watching.